Hello. In a previous video, we derived an expression for the number of moles remaining in an aqueous solution after it had been extracted into an organic solution one time. Among other things, in this video, we are going to quickly derive an expression for the number of moles remaining in an aqueous solution after extraction into an organic solution multiple times. Recall that N total is the number of moles of our solute of interest that we originally began with in the aqueous phase. And one is the number of moles of that solute that remain in the aqueous phase after one extraction. V aqueous is the volume of the aqueous solution. V org is the volume of the organic solution that we extracted into. And K is the partition coefficient for the solute between the aqueous phase and the, uh, between the organic phase and the aqueous phase. Now, let's assume that we use the exact same volume of organic solvent to do a second extraction. By the reasoning that we use to derive this first formula, we now have this expression where N1 is the amount of moles of the solute in the aqueous phase that we start with after we've done one extraction. And the amount remaining after the second extraction is N2. So we see we have expression very similar to the one that we had before. If we substitute the expression down here for N1 into our first equation, we get this second expression, which relates the original amount of moles of the solute in the aqueous phase to the amount that's remaining after two extractions. But notice, so long as we've extracted with the identical amounts of organic solvent each time and the same organic solvent, this expression and this expression are identical, so we can simplify. So condensed, we have that the amount remaining after two extractions, n sub 2, is equal to this expression squared times the original number of moles. And we can continue to extract, and so long as we do it with the same volume of the same organic compound, that essentially repeat this step again, so we can write this expression more generally as follows. So we have after the jth extraction, the number of moles of the solute remaining in the aqueous phase is n sub j, and we can evaluate it by this particular expression, where j is the number of extractions uh, done identically with the same volume of organic material, uh, which gives us the identical partition coefficient k. We can derive yet another related expression simply by dividing each side of the equation by the volume of the aqueous phase. If we do that, we realize that the expression on the left-hand side is simply the concentration of the solute remaining in the aqueous phase after J extractions, when N total divided by uh, the aqueous was the original concentration of the solute in the aqueous phase. And so we get our final result, that the concentration of the solute in the aqueous phase after J extractions is equal to this expression to the Jth power times the original concentration of the solute. I thank you very much for your kind attention. Stay safe out there. And as always, have a good one.